Hey, what's up? I'm Panic. For this video, I've toured Sprinkles' Space Station 13 server, so you don't have to. It's no secret that Space Station 13 is, well, secret. Even though it's significantly grown over the years, it takes a specific kind of person to adequately grasp the controls without wanting to vomit from two-dimensional vertigo. I've compiled a bunch of clips in the range of descending degeneracy in the form of an iceberg. The first layer of this degenerate conglomerate consists of primarily new players. These players reign from the surface layer of YouTube and follow suit with videos like Seth and ODNGs. These players' first servers are usually the ones that they stay upon, until they realize that the servers themselves suck massive ass. With the aforementioned ONG comes his containment server, Fulp Station. This flavor of server incentivizes a rookie player base. Within an LRP environment can come lax admins, and therefore, you gain the ability to beat the shit out of someone entirely out of the blue with zero repercussions, until you run face first into a gun blazing traitor and get dismantled. From now on, I'll ask players what their opinion is of the server in five words. Maybe the five word thing isn't good enough because I'm thinking that um, this girl right here, she seems like she has a lot to say. You know? It would be rude to limit her to just five words. I mean, it seems like they play the station a lot and they love the servers. Rooty, tooty, pointy, shooty. That was four words. Another person did, uh, this. Experience, because wonderful, engineer, power. And this. This is the best station I ever was one. It's safe to say this station's doomed. With the engineering, I break into the chief engineer's office. The CE's den hides a password to the central messaging records. Reading through the message history, I come across a very, very interesting story. This conversation thus represents the first layer of the iceberg in a very, very ambitious manner. Let's do a trade off for Miner. You get a Pac Man generator into the Syndicate base in Lava Land, and in turn, I give you combat gloves. Hmm. That would be hard. He'll try. Don't try anything funny. I got lethal weaponry. We do an exchange and you leave for good. Not trying anything funny. Keep your suit sensors maxed or the deal is off. Okay, he'll turn them off. No deal then? Fine. I turn TH. They're off. I told you to keep them maxed not to turn them off. Sorry. Are you getting confused or are you actually fucking with me? Turning them on. I'm Xeal. Or however you spell I. Thought you said to turn it off. I don't know if I can trust you with this deal after all. I'm calling it off. Sad. Fortunately, the same messaging console could be used to spam people. For example, I spam the captain with the word gay enough to call the shuttle and get myself executed. The second layer of this mistake of a 1996 programming platform details us of a more flamboyantly violent part of the community. They sustain their urges of combat-oriented gameplay strewn from the initial Xenomorph Alien game mode. These servers provide an outlet for these sub-psychopaths to gain their kills in a way that doesn't get admins pissy. Let's check out the spearhead of SS-13 Warfare, Colonial Marines. <laughs> yeah, let's get this shit eat lead, you fucking bugs. Fuck! <laughs> Watch that dude get destroyed. Fucking see ya! Yeah, fuck you, bitch. You suck. Now it's time for my stupidly complex reload. Looks fun, right? Action-packed and riveting. But to even get to that genuine gameplay, you need to get clothes on, get guns and ammo, zone out for 10 minutes, sit in the drop pod, and walk all the way to the front line. Yeah, these dumb idiots. I got bullets, you fucking dumbasses. Oh fuck, oh shit, oh god fucking damn it. And proceed to somehow die. This server, Colonial Marines, historically the most consistently populated server. It's fun, but frankly, its development team hasn't really prioritized much actual gameplay. If you're looking for less focus on realism and more focus on gameplay mechanics, TGMC is the server for you. With its more choices for weaponry and armor, it's faster paced and frankly more fun. But even still, friendly fire exists. So why not try out playing as the fanboy aliens? You begin as a frail larva, evolving later on into a more powerful alien archetype. In the beginning of the round, you can prepare for the battlefield against enemy humans. Even talk to your fellow sisters. I'm very racist. I like this card. I'm currently playing as a runner, an evolution you can choose that specializes in speed and tackling. And god do I love tackling. In this half-eaten stalactite is the confounds of Goon Station residents. This codebase itself, with its commonly ridiculed rule set, gains reputation within its isolated codebase for being more advanced than TG. It isn't bad, 
It's different, inspiring, disappointing, but fun. God, do I look fucking ugly. The first thing I do is book it to recreation and start making the prettiest art known to man. He <laughs> ain't fucking smile, making a motherfucking smile. Naturally, I give it to the botanist. Do you like it? I do. Thank you, kind artist. I call it okay. <laughs> I'm very happy. You're gonna make it, bid. Can I, uh, attempt to pilot this? I'm very new, so I'd like to see... Oh shit, haha, <laughs> fucking portal. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> my spaceship now, bitch. And now I'm floating off into the cosmos. Completely without any oxygen. Rant time. This station, which is closed source, specializes with its relatively complicated controls, having liquid physics and complex shenanigans. My gripe with this project is how separated it is from the rest of SS-13. Sure, TG Station has had some really bad developments in the recent years, but the fact is that Goon feels so perpendicular to the rest of SS-13. However, it divides the community immensely, not to mention SS-14 and Unity Station. No, oh, no, oh, hey, I'm dead. Hey, <laughs> yo, when you're dead, you can play fucking go-karts, that's the coolest Beyond the layers of ice is players who stop playing the game because they choose to slow down gameplay to a game of Dungeons and Dragons. But instead of a dungeon master overseeing you, it's several players staring into your pixelated soul, attempting to size you up for the next session of quote-unquote roleplay. High roleplay servers. This isn't the classical experience of Space Station 13 that I know. This is an experience tailored for those of both patience and an aptitude for donating their sanity. Okay, not gonna lie, it's pretty fucking boring around here. We haven't seen it, but the majority of my game time in Skyrat has been walking around aimlessly. I was beginning to think that this population was dying, but it has over a hundred fucking players. Hell, I approached Medbay, attempting to say hello, or even interview people, and I don't even get the chance to walk in. This is the definition of closed off roleplay, and frankly it's saddening to know that so many opportunities for unique situations are bordered with time consuming pseudo pacing. The only other place I've seen this type of roleplay is on Roblox Border RPs. Skyrat, you can do better! But I do manage to get my hands upon a couple interviews, thankfully. Here are a few tidbits summing up the server in five words. Extremely wet, and not friendly. We're all going to die. You're either betted or winning. This guy even summarized the station in a single word. I'm safe. And that's the best shots I got out of three fucking hours of gameplay. Upon ghosting, I see the rest of the players are. All doing absolutely nothing. Waiting. This is supreme roleplay right here. We've lost our humanity past this point. Please stop watching if you wish to play SS13 for what I have shown you. It's a fun game. These are fun, engaging servers. But there's no coming back after this point. This is a genuine, serious warning. I'll wait three seconds. You know why you're here. You want to see the rising neurological deterioration of humanity portrayed by a pixel game. Erotic role players, ERPers. These people have always existed and will always live among us, posing as real people. Splurt Station. Where else did you expect me to play? This unfortunately popular server revels in its deviancy, but frankly enough, the concept of the captain having a comedically sized rusty knife 7 meters away from his sprite is hilarious, combined with the fact that simultaneously you can see mountains of ERP text in the chat log. Another player describes how I feel perfectly. I want to kill myself. Hey, sexy. Uh... What the fuck? How fast do you think this thing can go? <laughs> Race car. I need to confess something. Yeah. During this fight, I've been thinking about my life. Check this shit, homie. I got possessed by a demon, and then Ninjago'd my way to the fucking chapel. Help me God! Jump scare. Oh, fuck that shit, dude. I hate touring these stations. What the fuck? Well, what the fuck this demon doing here? What the fuck? <laughs> hey, what's up? Sorry, I'm uh, splitting this up into two videos because I'm fucking tired, and uh, this is a long-ass video. Uh... Uh, like and subscribe.